Okay, so this is the third installment of my series on anti-Semitic celebrities or celebrities that are used by anti-Semites to spread their propaganda. Now, this one is a doozy for me because I'm going to be talking, and I'm sorry, I, it's really cold, so I have my legs covered. Um, and yes, I sleep on the floor in a, what do you call them, Th those uh, fluffy things. Anyway, um, so I, this one is a doozy for me because I am a fan of Pink Floyd. I like 70s, 70s, 80s rock and metal and so it's really hard for me to do this, but uh, we need to call out the anti-Semites and Roger Waters is a very specific case of nut job. I was actually to be talk going to be talking about Banksy in my second video and my third video, but I'm going to be talking about Roger Waters because uh, his antics are very detrimental. He's very active in trying to cause disruption in Israel. And um, he's not one of the misguided celebrities. He's really anti-Semitic. He spreads hate against Jews and Israel spreads a lot of anti-Semitic propaganda. So it's really important because he is one of the main elements feeding the propaganda machine and he is one of the main celebrity brainwashing agents uh so for those who don't know roger waters is uh, very famous well not so much, because no one listens to rock anymore, Sally. The, anyway, I'm boycotting Pink Floyd on the account of his anti-Semitism, which is hard for me because I do love uh, Pink Floyd. But Roger Waters is a whole different story. He arrests artists who want to perform in Israel. He he's a nutter, nut job, a real anti-Semite. He spreads the blood libel. He spreads old myths. You know those usury lies that uh, anti-Semites typ typically like to share about Israel and about Jews. Um, he goes that extra step to really vilify Jews, and uh, it's not pretty. He, he uses stars of David with pigs and puts on, you know, the the um, you know m those money sign things to accuse Jews of usury and. He has a lot of uh, open letters to artists trying to bully them into not performing in Israel. He supports sanctions against Israel. He lies and spreads Hollywood propaganda. If you don't know what Hollywood is, it's a, a propaganda machine that has NGOs uh, leftist media companies trying to stage videos to give a wrong idea of IDF and Israel. Um, Roger, Roger Waters was actually, uh, thank God, accused of anti-Semitism by Germany, which is a great thing that people are waking up to these celebrities that pretend that they are so social justice warriors but are nothing but undercover anti-Semites. And it's the thing. 
it's easy to trace right-wing anti-Semitism. And that's why I'm more scared about leftist anti-Semitism, because no one takes a right-wing anti-Semite seriously, and everyone condemns them. And you see, and at least they're honest about it. They, they say they hate Jews, and they're honest about it. Now, leftist anti-Semites pretend that the problem is not Jews, it's their actions. They pretend they, 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 they have some misguided sense of justice. And really, in the past, right-wing anti-Semites did the same, Christians did the same, Muslims did the same. But now it's disguised as social justice. It takes on a whole new level and could justify another Holocaust, which is why I have this series calling out celebrities that um, do this. Because you have Roger Waters literally, literally putting stars of David, dollar signs, pigs, swastikas all over the background scenes, and no one says anything. It's like they're they're using their music to spread anti-Israel and anti-Jewish hate. It's it's not just about Israel. It's really the blood libel, the the, the usury claims, all those myths that have been spread out throughout the centuries to justify inquisition, justify hate against Jews, are being spread by these celebrities. You know, Roger Waters, you're over. You're over. Your music is not funny anymore. You cannot entertain anymore. And Pink Floyd died in the 90s, literally. You have great music in the past, and everything that follows is just nonsense. You just want to stay relevant, and you use your hate to stay relevant, which is really, really, really miserable. I don't know. I don't know. I... I don't... I, it's... Why are you spreading so much hate against Israel? Inform yourself. But of course you won't, don't, don't want to inform yourself because you hate Israelis. And you just want an excuse to, to spread your hate. And uh, I don't know. Just like Russell Brand, he spreads some of the most vile myths that have been spread throughout the centuries. It's like, how can you support countries that violate all human rights and go against the only democratic state in all of the Middle East. It's, uh, I don't know. It's like, you have a huge platform. You have a lot of fans. And you're using your fans, your platform to spread hate instead of spreading truth. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's really, it's really, it's like, and, and then he has, uh, oh my God, he, He has more than once shown a lot of uh, hate publicly, and uh, his activism is is a joke. It's a joke. He he's been on this for decades. He he uses the same uh, propaganda that uh, Hamas and Palestinian Authority use. They they. They <laughs> claim that Israel is inhabited by Nazis. They claim that uh, Israelis are not native to the area. They, 
I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really, it's really, I'm sorry. It's, I'm starting to get emotional because this is really something important to me. And so, Hang on. And then you have his attacks on rabbis and attacks on Torah Judaism. And they spread the same nonsense of the protocols of elders of Zion and the same anti Semitic attacks that the Nazis used, you know, saying that uh, Jews want to enslave the human race and uh, that uh, they're not native to Israel, which everyone knows. Jews have, can trace their ancestry to, to over 3,000 years ago to Israel. And it's amazing that Sephardic Jews, Ashkenazi Jews, um, Ethiopian Jews and Asian Jews all share common ancestry and it's incredible that you can see this genetic similarities and still you will see these jerks attacking, attacking Israel and uh, you know it's, it's uh, It's really, and then they 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 spread the most anti-Semitic blood libels. They they spread Nazi propaganda while accusing, by the way, Israel of being an apartheid regime comparable to Nazi Germany. And then they go on to use the same anti-Semitic rhetoric that. Nazis use to justify the Holocaust. Isn't that some... I don't know. There, where is their cognitive dissonance? How did, cannot, can they not sense that they are the ones spreading Nazi propaganda against Jews? They are spreading the blood libel. They are spreading usury accusations. They... I don't know. It's they're using the same. I'm sorry. I just get emotional as a kid. Uh, I read uh, Anne Frank's diary over and over again, and it's just when I think of people that spread these lies, it just reminds me of that girl. And how people use the very same motives that Roger Waters and Pink Floyd are using now to excuse the Holocaust. And back then, Hitler had the full support of the Mufti of the British Mandate of Palestine and all Arabs in the surrounding area. And you have the audacity to claim that Jews are not indigenous to Israel? How about the 1929 Hebron massacre and all other pogroms that preceded that? Jews have been murdered all throughout the Middle East for centuries. And yet, even though the numbers dwindled over the years, they never left Israel. Palestine was a name given to Israel by Romans. Uh, it was never the real name of the land. And just a clue, where does Palestine sit? Judea and Samaria. You call them Palestinians, a fictitious name? 
and yet you do not recognize the, the Jews whose name in every single language derives from Judea. The, from, I, it's, it, doesn't anything get in their head that wherever Jews went, they never ceased to be considered from Israel, from Judea, from that area. And now you want to take that piece of ter ter territory that for millennia has been the identifier for Jews all throughout the world where they were always said, go back to Palestine, go back to Israel, go back to Judea, go back to where you ca came from. And now that Jews are coming back to Israel, you don't want them there? At least be decent and admit that all you want is another holocaust it's not justice that you seek is to spread hate and hate and that's all that you care you should be ashamed of yourself to use your fame as a singer to to use your rock band to spread hate and target an entire people just because you don't like them. You should stop spreading this hate. Your policies, your ideas are what led to the Holocaust and you're just doing, justifying doing it all over again. You know, I don't, I don't care, you know, whether you believe it or not, but it shows that you are a definite anti-Semite. How can you not see that those that you call innocent Palestinians are every day sh shooting rockets at nurseries, at school, and you claim that Israel does it? Every single day, balloons are sent to Israel. They send bombs. They stab Jews every single day. There are deaths in Israel. Israel tried peace over and over again, and they rejected it. Israel even settled for less land than, than, than belongs to them because they wanted peace. And why did what you call Palestinians never accepted because in fact they are Arab imperialists and they support Nazis and they fly swastikas just like you in your concerts by the way and they will never be happy until they have the land from Jordan to the sea and send Israelis to their death that's what they want so stop pretending that you are some kind of justice warrior you're not. You're just a plain old anti-Semite. Communist or Nazi, it doesn't matter. The problem is the same. It's hate. At least own up to your hate. And everyone else, please, boycott Pink Floyd, boycott uh, Roger Waters, and try to raise awareness about their anti-Semitism and their lies, the blood libel that they spread, the usury lies that they spread. They, Pink Floyd and Roger Waters is a very special case of outright anti-Semitism that adopts the most traditional forms that has be, that have been adopted all throughout the centuries, from the Catholic Church uh, with the Inquisition to the Protestants with Luther to Nazi Germany. The same rhetoric that is now being used by Roger Waters and Pink Floyd has been used before. So please be aware of this propaganda and help me fight these celebrities that spread utter nonsense against Israel. So this is it for this video. I would ask you if you please can find someone and share that, you know, spreads these negative ideas and these lies to raise awareness about them and um, 
to call them out on their hypocrisy and to teach them to research about staged propaganda and the lies that are being spread against Israel and also to raise awareness to those of, of their fans that are not aware of their anti-Semitic nature and um, so yeah that's it uh, anyway that's it for this video I would ask you if you please could check my description box and help me on my um, fundraiser I don't typically like to do this but it's an emergency and so if you could please help me or at least share my links it would go a long way and please comment tell me if you know any other person that you know is relevant and is doing serious harm to Israel with their propaganda and their lies that support Hamas and Palestinian Authority and other terrorist groups that want to eradicate Israel and disguise their anti-Semitism as some misguided sense of justice and appropriate old age-old uh, anti-Semitic tropes that are used to justify the murder of thousands and thousands of Jews annually. So that's it for today's video. Uh, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. And I'd like to see in the comment section. I really love to share ideas and I really especially want to call out people about these things because more and more celebrities are being brainwashed and through those celebrities, their fans are brainwashed and we get more and more people hating on Israel. So it is crucial to show their fans that these celebrities are either misappropriated to the Palestinian propaganda machine or they are indeed anti-Semites and uh, we need to protect innocent people who are unaware from propaganda that could cause another holocaust. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.